Hey there, and welcome to Play Noggin. I'm Julian, your brain's player too. We've all seen and been embarrassed by Hollywood movies that depict hackers, fingers flying on their keyboards as window after window pops up. They usually spout some line about firewalls and IP addresses, just enough to trick people that aren't paying attention. And if we suspend our disbelief, we can maybe buy it. However, one game company wasn't content with trotting out the same terrible old hacker cliches, and they decided to actually do their homework. That company is Ubisoft, and the game is Watch Dogs 2. The plot goes something like this. In the very near future, cities have begun installing a central computing system called CTOS, or Central Operating System. It's like Apple HomeKit, but on a ridiculous city-wide level. Hey Siri, turn off the lights. All the lights, that kind of thing. In Watch Dogs 2, our hero is Marcus Holloway, also known as Retro, a hacker who's punished for a crime he didn't commit because the CTOS system categorized him as a key suspect. You'd think we as a nation would have learned something from Minority Report, but alas. Wanting to protect innocent people like him, Marcus joins up with a hacker organization called DeadSec, which works to bring down corruption wherever it pops up. If we're going to talk about hackers and all the hacks they do, we should first get an understanding of what hacking is and how it works. Over the years, computer systems have become more connected and more complex, which makes it nearly impossible to eliminate all security flaws. Hackers are able to identify and use these flaws to infiltrate the systems and make it do what they want. Hackers with nefarious intent, sometimes referred to as black hats or crackers, may then attempt to infect the computer system with a virus, which is a small computer program designed to copy itself into multiple files and programs in the target machine. These and other so-called exploits can cause your computer to go crazy. Now, we're not talking about getting sucked into your computer Tron style yet, but bad things can happen, from loss of data to exposure of personal information. It should be noted, however, that most hackers consider themselves to be white hats, or the good guys much like Marcus and DeadSec. They're super intelligent computer pros with a strong sense of justice, as opposed to the black hats who simply want to sow chaos. Black hats are the Joker, white hats are Batman, in other words. They might use legally dubious methods to fight evil, but they're fighting evil all the same. So what would happen if you were the target of a hack? Are you safe from Marcus or some less benevolent group? What about your personal data? One of the key elements of Watch Dogs is the ability to remotely and easily hack random strangers' smartphones. In reality, while the tech Marcus uses to effortlessly swipe data from passerby isn't a threat today, it's remarkably easy to hack a smartphone. Whether through unsecured Wi-Fi or a malicious app designed to give an outsider user control, your data is vulnerable. Not that you should walk around in abject fear, just use common sense, make sure Wi-Fi you connect to is secure, don't install apps if you don't know and trust the source, and keep your phone's operating system up to date. Even our cars are not immune, since they're also becoming increasingly complex and powered by computer technology. In the game, Marcus can pretty easily turn any car into an RC lover's dream. See a nice convertible you want to play with? Easy. Hack away. It's all yours. Every car in Watch Dogs is self-driving, even when their drivers would rather they weren't. With the advent of smart, self-driving cars in real life, it's not difficult to see that sort of problem becoming bigger in the future. But even cars today have some pretty significant security flaws that make them easy prey for hackers. In 2015, hackers were able to remotely connect to a Jeep Cherokee that was fleeing the police and shut down its engine. If it's relatively easy to hack an individual, what would it take to hack a city? How realistic are the hacks in Watch Dogs? And in the near future, are we going to dress like Grinch and Sitara? Because I'd be down for that. Let's take a look. We may not live in a world with CTOS levels of hackability at this very moment, but cybersecurity experts believe we'll be arriving there soon. In Watch Dogs, it's easy to hack traffic lights in order to escape pursuers. In the real world, a researcher from Kaspersky Lab found a way to manipulate traffic signals in Russia by simply accessing a user manual online from the signal manufacturer. We can chalk that up to a rookie mistake on the company's part, but again, the more complex the system, the more security flaws are likely to pop up. Researchers have discovered that the new smart systems being used to control traffic lights can be hacked remotely up to 1,500 feet away, in person, or even using drones. Cities would love to install something like CTOS to manage every facet that currently requires individual software programs to maintain. But doing so allows malicious hackers to do widespread damage with comparatively little effort. Hacking smart meters or power lines to black out huge chunks of a city or remotely shutting down an entire area's public transportation systems are not outside the realm of possibility. So scientists are working to decentralize the smart grid in hopes that this will give energy companies a leg up on their would-be attackers. One method black hat hackers use to disrupt governments and businesses is a distributed denial of service attack, or DDoS for short. This is a disturbingly simple strategy whereby a hacker simply overwhelms the network in their sites 
with requests until it falls apart from the strain. It's like when tickets to Burning Man are about to go on sale and everyone keeps hitting refresh until the site crashes. Only, this can be done with a single hacker using hacked computers to generate thousands or millions of fake visits, overwhelming the system. In fact, that's the end goal of Marcus in Watch Dogs. The actions he performs gain him followers who download his app, which in turn allows him to use their devices to create a DDoS attack to shut down CTOS. Followers equals power. It's the same on YouTube. <laughs> Play Noggin promises to use our powers benevolently if it pleases us. It's easy to see an attack that shuts down a city becoming more and more mainstream as our cities become increasingly interconnected. Are you scared yet? Well, that's what we're here for. But seriously, as much as ill-intentioned hackers might try to disrupt the world, there are many more brilliant minds at work to keep us safe. In Watch Dogs, it's DeadSec. In our world, it's a bunch of talented people from all walks of life. Chances are, we're gonna be just fine. Just don't click on links from strangers in your email, okay? Hey, thanks for watching Play Noggin. As always, please like and subscribe if you're into our brand of games and learning. Leave us a comment below to recommend a game you think we should cover, and don't forget to keep on playing.